Hello everyone! On today's maxi menu, we have macarons and mochi. Let's get to it! In order to cook macaron halves, I'm going to need 40 eggs, 42 ounces of egg whites to be precise. Let's start with separating yolks from whites. Then I divide the whites in three bowls, so I can make three colors. Let's cook lemon lime curd. For this, I'll need five lemons and the same amount of limes. Grate the zest. Then squeeze the juice out of the halves. Mix the grated zest with juice and one and a half ounces of cornstarch. Stir. Cook it on stovetop over medium heat and add sugar. Wait for it to dissolve. Set up the maximum heat and quickly crack in 10 eggs. Keep on stirring till it thickens. Take it off the stove and add butter. It has to be room temperature. Once the butter has completely melted, cover it closely with plastic wrap and refrigerate for a few hours. For the next filling, we mix cream cheese with sugar. Add whipped cream and stir it well. Put it in a fridge. For the third filling, heat up confectionery cream, add two pounds of dark chocolate, and mix it till it's completely dissolved. Once the chocolate is melted, turn the stove off and add butter. Cool it down and refrigerate. All three fillings are done. Let's go back to cooking the macaron halves. Sift through almond flour and mix it with powdered sugar. Whip egg whites at the maximum speed so you get soft peaks. Don't stop the mixer. Pour in a pound of corn syrup. The temperature of the syrup has to be at least 215 degrees Fahrenheit. Keep on whipping and add coloring. Now add the whipped egg whites to the dry ingredients. This way, we make three colors of batter. I made green, purple, and blue. Prepare bases with parchment paper. We'll be pouring the batter out of a pastry bag on it. Put the batter in them. Squeeze out and spread over the tray. Lightly shake it and hit it to get rid of excess air. Bake in an oven for 25 minutes at 285 degrees Fahrenheit. Let's get to assembling. I decided to make the blue macaron with cream cheese and blackberries. Apply icing on one half. Then place blackberries in the center and cover it. A giant blue treat is done. I made a purple macaron with chocolate ganache and almonds. Also decorate it with almond flakes on the edges. As you've already guessed, the green macaron will be with lemon curd and strawberries. It's simple! 
apply icing, add strawberries, and cover it. Sweet Giants are ready. Of course, standard macarons can't compare with this considerable size. Now get ready. We'll be cooking a world famous cookie called mochi. I'll need sesame, dried cherries, nuts, dried cranberry, raisins, dried apricots, cornstarch, and rice flour. Of course, we need maxi amounts of everything. I left the exact amounts for you in the description down below. Let's start with the heart of our maxi treat. Process dried cherries in a blender. Add cranberries to it. Shape a ball. Cover it with plastic wrap and refrigerate. Then process nuts. Grind dried apricots and raisins with a meat grinder. Join both masses together. Nuts and cherries with apricots. Put the cherry cranberry ball in the center. Let's move on to the dough. Mix rice flour with sugar, water, and food coloring. Mix it well. Get rid of the clumps. Microwave for 15 minutes. The ready dough has to turn out soft. Make three portions like this. Slightly stir it, sprinkle a silicone mat with cornstarch, and put on the dough. Roll it out a bit. Then put the filling on the dough and start wrapping it on all sides. That's it! Now we can see our maxi mochi treat. Leave your comments and wishes down below. See you next time.